Hi there. Today I'm going to share how to use Docker to deploy Whisper AI locally. So you only have to download the model once, and then you don't have to worry about sharing your audio or video files externally or on the cloud. And it's really simple to do. Now I have previously made a series of videos on Whisper AI, and you can find out these videos here. I'm really excited to use Docker and deploy the model locally. So you don't need to worry about session timeout. By the end of this video, you will have Whisper AI installed locally with a clean web interface where you can just drag and drop audio files and you will get professional level transcriptions for free. No Python installations, no dependency hell. Let's build it. Okay, so first step, let's download Docker if you have not installed it. You can just go to docker.com and click on download Docker desktop. Choose whatever operating system you're running, Apple, Windows, or Linux. It's really straightforward and just follow the prompt, you get it down in no time. And one quick note here, if you have never used Docker, you feel confused about what this thing does. I want you to trust me here because Docker is going to help you tremendously down the road. After you install Docker, make sure you open it. Okay. And then after that, we open the terminal and let's type in Docker dash V. Okay. If it shows a version number, then you're good to go. Now I promise this tutorial is going to give you an even simpler solution than the Google Colab version because we're just going to use two lines of code. Okay. And for today's demo, we're using this Docker image called Whisper ASR Web Service because this one is going to give you a web interface when you run the command locally. And don't worry, I'll provide all the links mentioned in this video down in the description box below. Let's go back to the terminal and we're going to do Docker pull. And this is the address of the image and we want the latest and then return. It worked really fast, but if this is your first time running this command, pulling the image, it is going to download the whisper model and it's over one gigabyte, so it's gonna take a little bit while, but you only need to download it once and in the future, it will run really quickly like what I just showed you here. And this is the second line of code you would need and also the last line of code to make everything happen. So Docker run, this will make it available in a local host you can open. And here we specified ASR model equals medium.en, which is English then you can switch medium to tiny or large or max. But once again, median is what I found to be most helpful for the majority of the cases. But if you have a audio file that has really tricky background noise or strong accent, and you're welcome to use the larger models. Let's run it. Now let's say, okay, this is the third line of code, which is optional. You can directly copy and paste localhost 9000 slash docs to view the interface. So for example, I can just copy and paste into my Chrome browser and enter. See, this is the web interface. Let me close this one. Alternatively, you can also run this line of code, open this address directly, and we'll also arrive at the same interface. And then here's the fun part. Let's expand ASR, which is automatic speech recognition. And then there's also a detect language one, which means you can upload your audio files and you don't really know the language. You can try to detect that. And that's a less popular usage. Let's just focus on ASR here. Let's open here. There are a bunch of options. Oh, make sure you click on try it out so that you can switch up these parameters. Let's click on try it out. I leave it here true, transcribe or translate. You can choose one. Translate just means translate the transcription into English. And language, if you know it's English, you can select English or whatever language of uh, your audio. And here is really important. I know in the collab version, it will just output all kinds of transcription format for you. But here I recommend you choose the one you would like to use and you will see the reason why. 
So here I'm going to choose SRT because that is the most common one I use and a lot of people use. And here, familiar to all of us, choose file. Uh, I'm going to add in intro.wav file, which is a really short recording, less than one minute of me talking about my channel. And after that, we can just click on execute. And remember this time, the model is running on your local machine and it's going to take a little while, similar to the, if you're using the model on the cloud with Google Colab. And it's really quick. Um, here you just have to sc scroll down. It doesn't just automatically generate an SRT file in the folder for you. It will first show a preview in this response body. Okay, this is exactly the SRT format I requested. Now here, there are two buttons. If you click on download, it will actually be in an HTML format. So I would recommend you click here, the copy button, and just open a plain text reader. For me, I'm using a Mac and then paste in. And here I'm going to rename it to transcript.srt desktop. Enter. And let's see. And we will have an SRT file ready for you to use. Okay. And similarly, if you prefer other kinds of transcription format, you can change it here to TXT, VTT, TSV, or JSON. All right. I hope you enjoy this short tutorial and give it a try. And if it's your first time using Docker, congratulations. There are so many more possibilities ahead of you. And I will offer more tutorials using Docker, especially on workflow automations. And if you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe and leave any comment down below. Thank you. See you next time.